most of the fear comes from the high band and millimeter wave 5G because it's never been used for consumer purposes before. So I get a bit of hesitation, but at the same time, there's research out there that says millimeter wave 5G technically operates... Well, okay, let me take a step back. The fear is that millimeter wave 5G operates on a frequency equivalent to microwave radiation. So, yeah. of course, as we know, microwave radiation exists within our microwaves used to cook our food. So people hear that, and they're like, oh, you're trying to cook us alive. I can well, see where that would be a problem if we were all in a tight metal container. Well, we're not. Let, me, let, me, let me lay down some facts here. So, sure, it does operate on the same spectrum as microwave radiation. However... It cannot become ionized and penetrate human skin. Physically impossible. And in fact, high band 5G is easily blocked by leaves, walls, glass, cars, and clothing, which actually makes it incredibly difficult to implement because it can be blocked by so many things. Do you know what I mean by when I say that? Well, even so, you'd have to have it run through our body to the point where it's providing enough molecular... Like gamma radiation. Yeah, the fuck up, yeah. Which it does not do. I mean, microwaves pass through a body too, but in incredibly high amounts. Like, if you stuck somebody's head into a microwave, I would advise against that. But 5G... But you couldn't even do that. No. The door would be open. The microwaves wouldn't be able to bounce off enough to even explode your head or anything. Also yeah, you, true. You'd have to get a human-sized box. Just like a, a microwave Except in the movie. Box. Except in the movie Last House on the Left, where at the end scene, they stick the guy's head in the microwave and it explodes. Oh, well, if they cut it off first, then <laughs> stick it in there. Yeah, that'll work. No, no, he was alive and they stuck his head in there. Oh, really? Yeah. You should see that movie. It's pretty good. Oh, Last House and I thought, I thought I did. Maybe not. Whatever. Anyhow. But 5G makes... It's incredibly... That's what makes 5G very hard to implement successfully, at least the high-band 5G that has that 20 gigabits per second data transfer speed because it can be blocked by so many things. So, with that being said... What are some of the conspiracy theories? Like I just mentioned, the big one is 5G is microwave radiation. That will fry us all. And survey says false. That one is false, believe it or not. Studies of millimeter wave 5G have shown that it doesn't penetrate human skin. And at its strongest levels of power, uh, higher than any 5G network will ever use it. So what am I trying to say here? Studies have shown that it doesn't penetrate human skin, and even at its strongest levels, which will be higher than any 5G network ever uses, it only makes things slightly warmer. Slightly. Well, that, that doesn't help with global warming, then, does it? Brett, it's, it's, it's from a radiation standpoint. It's not freaking fossil fuels and carbon dioxide. Totally different. Be quiet. I'm just saying, it's going to warm things <laughs> up, man. Anyhow. <laughs> Only at incredibly high levels can it raise the temperature of something slightly, but it'll never be used in that capacity over a 5G network. No, it won't. <laughs> so, second oh, conspiracy man. theory. 5G is sucking all of the oxygen out of the air. And <laughs> survey says... Hey, hey, Survey says... False. False. I was, I was going to bring up... You can see how, how I just said that. Like, it'll go towards global warming. How easy it is for people to just say something and it just takes off right but that ultimately falls on personal responsibility and people believing things without thinking well that's like half the human population specifically in america or the united states of america i should say throw around your beliefs about the united states more brett just chuck them keep keep chucking them well there are stupid people across the globe i'm just saying a lot a large portion reside here in this country anyhow 5g is not sucking all of the oxygen out of the air fact third 5G caused the coronavirus pandemic. Survey says... Probably false. False. Know. 5G did not cause the coronavirus pandemic. There is no way that 5G could cause the coronavirus at all. And let's just say, people believed this one so much to the point that in the UK, they set cell phone towers on fire. See, that's what I'm saying. Like Last year. It's not just the United States that's dumb. There's people all across the globe. But people believe this one so much yeah. that they destroyed property. Yep. <laughs> and last one. 
Wow, it sounds, like, sounds like something that happened January 6th or 4th. <laughs> I don't remember which day it was. Are you talking about the Capitol thing? <laughs> yeah. People believe something so much, they destroyed property. Oh, I, I see what you did there. That was a good one. That was yeah. a good one. Uh, last one. 5G will cause cancer. Survey says... False. False. Well, actually, when it comes to this one, we... This one's actually kind of funny. Know? This one's kind of funny because... We, we still don't actually know entirely if current cell networks and cell radiation cause cancer. But no one seems too concerned, so I don't worry too much about this. Oh one. my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not kidding you, actually. Oh um, no. We still don't... Well, oh, we, you, you, you remember all the studies that came out about people holding cell phones up to their head and the radiation causing brain cancer and brain tumors. Now... Is I this, think that was this, unfounded, is, but... Is this kind of like saying there's no study saying it does and there's no study saying it doesn't, so we don't know? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's like saying there's no study saying potatoes, smashed potatoes cause cancer. Don't you think, though, by this time, if cellular radiation and radio frequency cause cancer, we'd have known about it and we'd see a lot more instances of cancer with a direct correlation... To cell phones. I mean, you do see way more cancer these days, but there's also way more people too. And there's also way better medical technology to help identify it. Correct. That's that's good. That's very true. Yes. So that's what I'm saying is, although we still don't entirely know down, you know, down to the 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 pen point. Why did I just say that? That made no sense. We still we still don't entirely know, but again, nobody seems too concerned. Hey, you know what? So I At least my it. internet's faster. I don't care. There you go. If if That's having the faster, spirit. if having faster internet means that I die quicker, so be it, right? That's right, Brett. Got to download those Destiny Two, uh, those Destiny Two DLC when it comes out, huh? Quick as possible. Sure. Sure. What? I'm just saying. You play PC games, so of course you want fast internet. Correct. And if that means getting cancer and dying, then I guess whatever. <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. That, that'd be that's, horrible. That's, that's horrible. That'd be horrible. I'd, I'd rather edit, go and edit that out. And, I'd rather go and. It's fine. I'd rather go gather <laughs> berries and stuff and just be a caveman, if that meant. Or you know what? Just stick with 4G LTE. That hasn't given me cancer yet for as far as I know. Maybe it has. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for your thoughts as always, Brett.